right, guys, welcome back to Downtown Rams. As always, I'm your host, Alexis Kraft. Join here with my co-host, Jake Ellenbogen. And we're continuing with our 2022 NFL Draft Prospect interviews. And joining us on the show today, we have Jasur Taylor, defensive back from Wake Forest. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Excited to talk with you and just kicking it off. I um, want to ask you when you started playing football and when it was – uh, apparent that you could go in the NFL and, and play football one day? Yeah, I've been playing football since about four or five. Started off playing flag football. Then when I was old enough to play tackle, I got right into it. Um, my early years, I, I was kind of good early on, but I wouldn't say I thought I was going to be in the NFL then. I was just having fun playing football with my friends. Um, it wasn't until maybe high school where I started making some plays and earning some time on varsity where I thought, that I may have a future with this. For sure. And growing up, did you watch a lot of the NFL? And if so, did you have a favorite player? Yeah, so I didn't really watch too much NFL, but I did like a couple of players. Um, I was an Eagles fan, kind of. Um, so I like Vic, Sean McCoy, uh, Sante Samuel, um, some of those guys. Absolutely. And ultimately, what um, led you to playing at Wake Forest? Yeah, so I was committed to Temple going into my senior season. And then their whole coaching staff um, got changed and everyone left. Then late into um, high school around early November, um, I got an offer from Wake Forest. I previously didn't hear anything from them about them. I wasn't even sure uh, what conference they were in. I didn't know too much. So um, they flew out. Um, met me in person, talked to my family, came and watched a game, and got me to a official visit after the season, and I loved it there. The only twist was they wanted me to play defensive back, and throughout high school, I always thought I was going to be um, an offensive guy. I was going to Temple to play offense, so um, it was a little little different, but of course, the game, I, they came to watch me play. I caught an interception, so I guess I was up for the challenge and moved to defense when I got there. That is interesting. I did not know you were recruited as an offensive player. Um, I can imagine that would be kind of a twist <laughs> for someone to uh, offer you a different position. It's funny because I played um, soccer in college and the game that my future college coach went to, I was playing um, defense because someone on my team was injured and my coach was like, just go back there and you'll be fine. Just like go play defense. And I was always a forward. And he recruited me as a defender and I had to tell him, um, I said, Hey, I actually know that you don't know this, but I'm actually a forward. So when I go to your tryout, can I try out as a forward? He was like, Oh, okay. And it all worked <laughs> out. Um, but yeah, that's funny. That's funny. Uh, a funny story, but, uh, you know, for incoming recruits that might be interested at going to Wake Forest to play football, how would you pitch the school and the football program to them? Yeah. Um, I would say a school speaks for itself is, um, usually a top 30 university every year. Um, it's small, but it's worth it. You get small class sizes, uh, probably 20, 25, not big classes. So you have that interaction with your, with your professors, so you won't fall behind in class. And it's, it's a small family um, around campus. There's a lot of activities. It's a great area, and the campus is beautiful. And, of course, football. They're playing at a high level in ACC. Um, we had 11 wins. We made it to the ACC championship. You're at the front of the ACC every year competing, and you get that exposure that you would get at any other school. Absolutely. And, you know, talking football now, um, who would you say is the toughest guy that you went up against in college? Um, I played some good guys. I would say – I covered Christian Kirk my freshman year a couple of times. He, he was kind of good. He's really legit. Um, Deami Brown from UNC, he's a, he's a good receiver. Uh, Jordan Addison from Pitt last year, and also Josh Downs from UNC. Those are some good guys. And then the Clemson guys, they always have a few guys who um, make it to the league and give you a good run. So, Yes, definitely sounds – like all challenging players uh, to have to guard. But looking back at your college career, do you have a favorite game that you ever played in? Favorite game? My freshman year in the Belk Bowl against Texas A&M. Um, it was a good way to cap off my freshman year. It really was a great win. And it was a tough win, and I enjoyed everything about it. 
So whenever I get that question, that's the first game that pops into my mind. Now, Jasir, in your opinion as a defensive back, what is the most important trait to playing that position? Patience. It's really hard, but you got to be patient, kind of slow the game down, make the receiver work off of you. It's kind of hard when you're up there and press uh, two feet away from somebody and they're trying to get around you. And it's hard to just stay patient. So I think that's the most thing, the most important thing. And looking at yourself as a player, what would you say is your biggest strength as a player? Uh, versatility, being able to play um, nickel, corner. If I had to, I think I could pick up safety pretty well. And special teams, I'm, I'm just a football player. Wherever you put me out on the field, I'll uh, make an impact. And now heading to the NFL, what is a one area of your game you're looking to improve upon the most? I would say... Wait, uh, I would say being more consistent from game to game. Um, some games I'm really high, some games I'm just okay. So just keeping that high level of play in all phases, covering, tackling, literally everything. And this next question is kind of a tough one, but also a fun one. What quarterback are you most looking forward to picking off in the NFL? Tom Brady. I'm glad he came back. Who wouldn't, who wouldn't say Tom Brady? You're right. Everyone says Tom Brady. We still ask because occasionally we'll get like a different, like an Aaron Rodgers or Patrick Mahomes or Josh yeah. Allen, like someone like that. But 99% of the time it's Tom Brady. Because yeah. of course, of course it would be. And I want to ask you kind of along the same question, but is there anybody in the NFL that you really would be excited to match up against? Not necessarily quarterback, because we just talked about Brady, but is there a receiver you want to cover or a tight end or a running back even? Anybody that stands out like that? Tyreek Hill. He's just most electrifying receiver in the league. So um, it's a great challenge, and I want to put my skills to test. So Tyreek Hill. For sure a challenge. He's a speedster. Yeah. Um. But, you know, during the season and during a lot of the off season, we do primarily cover the Los Angeles Rams. So we ask every prospect that comes on our show, have you had any contact with the LA Rams at all? Yeah, I spoke with them a few times over the phone. And then recently they've been in touch with my agent. So there has been some constant communication with them. And I feel good about how they feel about me. Well, we like to hear that and, uh, you know, kind of pivoting over to, you know, a question about yourself. I like to ask, uh, who is Jasir Taylor as a player and who is he as a person? As a player, um, high energy on the field, ability to play inside, outside, great teammate. You'll always see me uh, pumping up my teammates if there's a big play going over, celebrating. And off the field, I'm, I'm kind of the opposite. I'm kind of laid back chill, cool, kind of stay out the way. Um, so it's kind of like a healthy balance. For sure. Uh, and to close this out here, uh, we'd like to ask for a couple recommendations, non-football related. So if you could recommend us a TV show, an album, and a snack. The snack question I have added in um, because I like to eat snacks when I watch TV shows. So I'm always trying to try new stuff. TV show, I would say Power is on Stars. Snack, um, Kettle Corn, Popcorners, The Red Bag. And album, let's see. What kind of, let me see. Depends on the mood you're in. I would say, lately I've been listening to Pop Smoke's latest album. So I recommend that one. That is a good album. That is a good snack. And I've not seen Power, but it has been recommended to us and it is on my list. Great show. Because, yes, I've heard nothing but good things about it. So excited to see that. But thank you again so much for coming on the show. We really appreciate it. Uh, again, I know it's a super busy time. So we know that as we get closer to the drafts, um, it means a lot that that you would take some time to come on the show. Uh, and if you don't end up on the Rams, even though we hope you do, uh, we will still be fans of you no matter where you go. And we wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much for having me on here. I really appreciate it. Um, it was a 
nice and easy time speaking with you guys. It's not usually like this. So thank you. <laughs> well, hey, we appreciate your time just here and uh, we wish you the best of luck and definitely stay healthy throughout this process. Thank you. Thank you.